Well, can you hear the roar? Bikes, Blues and Barbecue officially starting off in Rogers and Eureka Springs today. Last year we saw more than 275,000 people come to this area for this magnificent charitable event. That's a lot of people, more than a <laughs> quarter million people. And with all those people visiting, it can give a sizable boost to the local economy. 5 News reporter Rachel Williams is live right now out there. Rachel, you talked to a few businesses. Yeah, Alexandra, I did. Businesses here in downtown Rogers are excited about Bikes, Blues and Barbecue and the money that comes with it. As you know, a lot of businesses in Rogers were impacted by the tornadoes in May, but they're hoping with so many visitors in town that they can get back on their feet. Maria Smith is the owner of the restaurant La Sang Panoy in downtown Rogers. Last year, she was planning to open a restaurant on Walnut, but things got delayed. Well, then the tornadoes happened and that ruined all those plans. Uh, so it's still under repair right now and it doesn't look like our restaurant will be open until maybe March of next year. In the meantime, the restaurant is at Proof downtown. And this place is designed as an incubator for new restaurant ideas. And because of the damage to our restaurant, she allowed us to come in here for three months instead of the normal 30 days. With bikes, blues, and barbecues within walking distance from her restaurant, she is expecting more people than normal this weekend. And with that, they're altering the menu. We always have Lumpia Shanghai, um, which is a Filipino version of an egg roll. Um, that's super duper popular. And then we've got veggie balls, which um, uh, you can dip. There's two different dipping sauces, but you can also put them on a stick and walk around with it. Um, but we also have Ranong Manok, which is a stuffed chicken. Um, and Ponset. So we've got a lot of new things um, that, they're, that we're testing out and we're just really excited about the opportunity to share our cuisine and our culture. According to Rogers Mayor Greg Hines, he says the overall estimated economic impact is $15.4 million. And remember, Bike Blues and Barbecue runs through this Saturday evening. But for now, I'm live in Rogers covering news where you live. Rachel Williams, 5 News.